Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And um, this problem I've had my eye on a little bit lately, uh, just because I've been doing all these other problems and I haven't had time to make a video on it, but it's very similar to Number of Islands. I made that video, so please go check that out. Um, it's kind of a category of problems, searching. Uh, so what are the, some searching techniques, right? We have binary search, breadth first search, depth first search. You know, there's a bunch of searching um, algorithms, but... Um, in this case, it's very similar to the one we used in Number of Islands. Um, and I'll explain how this works. Basically, we're, here's the problem, word search. Given a 2D board and a word, find if the word exists in the grid, right? So we have a grid. It's a 2D array. Each, each um, all right, well, let's zoom in right here, right? We have a 2D array, right? And we have these subarrays, right? One, two, three subarrays in this case. And each element of the subarray is a character, right? We have ABC, whatever. And then we're given a word, right? So the word can be constructed from letters of... The word can be constructed from letters of a subsequent... Uh, subsequent... Sub... Sequentially adjacent cell. Sorry, I don't know. I just kept saying subsequent for some reason. The word can be constructed from letters of a sequentially adjacent cell... Um, where adjacent cells are those horizontally and vertically neighboring. The same letter cannot be used more than once. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're given a word and we want to find it in this grid, right? So we're given A, B, C, C, E, D, right, in this first case. And then we see A, we see B, we see C, we see C, we see E, we see D, right? And this is valid because they're horizontally and vertically connecting. Um, you know, we can't just go A, it, let's say we're looking for A, F. We wouldn't be able to go A and then F, right? We would have to, the F would have to be here or here, right? We'd have to go A and then F or A and then F. Hopefully this makes sense. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? So in that case, we found A, B, C, C, E, D, right? Easy. Then we look for C. We look at this S. Oh, there's no E here. There's no E here. There's no E here. That's not C. But oh, look, there's another version over here. How about E, S, E, and oh, we don't find a second E. But, oh, here's the E, right? So just intuitively, we already know how to do this kind of, right? We loop through, so we're just going to do a regular loop through. You guys know how to loop through a 2D array, right? You just do two for loops, so we're just looping, right? And once we see an A, we're going to call our search method now. So we're going to separate these methods. We're going to have a, just a 2D loop. So let's just write that out really quick. So right, we have board, which is our grid. So we're just going to get the number of rows. So we'll say rows is equal to board.length and columns is equal to board of i dot length. Um, and then we're going to do our two for loops, right? So i less than rows, i plus plus, um, int j equals zero. Sorry j less than columns, j plus plus, and yeah, super straightforward. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, and this method is just a Boolean, remember, so we're just returning whether the word's in there or not. Um, we're not counting anything or doing anything crazy here, so, you know, when would we start our search, right? And we're also going to have this other method. Like I said, we're going to split this up, so public Boolean, you know, uh, search word. Right, we'll do search word here. And this will, you know, be our thing right here. Return false for now. Um, so when are we going to search for the word? Well, we're only going to search when we find the first letter of the word, right? So every time we find the first letter. So in this case, for C is a good example, right? So when we see an S here, we're going to call it because it's like that's potentially going to be the word. So we're going to call. And this separate, this separate method is just going to do recursive calls on the neighboring adjacent um letters right so we're gonna we're gonna call on s and then i'm gonna be like okay we have an s so let's look for an e now right we're gonna look at index two we're gonna increment an index we're gonna be like okay is there an e at the top the right or the bottom no so we're gonna say false then this then we're gonna get a false here so um we're just gonna keep looping through and eventually we'll find the second s we'll recursively call on the top and bottom and left we don't see anything here. This leads to nothing eventually. And then we found it here. And when the index that we're looking at actually equals the word length, that's when we're going to return true. So there, here's the conditions, right? If word.char at zero is equal to board, the current position that we're at in the board, well, then we're going to search, right? So we're going to do a search, search word is going to actually return a Boolean value. So if search word returns true, we're going to return true. We found the whole word. 
So search word will tell us whether we found the word or not. So we're going to call search word with I, J, board, word. And then the one last thing we're going to have to need, we're going to need is we're going to need a visited array. We're going to need a Boolean visited array of, um, because we, we don't want to, we don't want to search the same indexes, right? So we need to keep track of, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to go when we're, when we call our search method, we don't want to, when we're looking at, you know, adjacent values, it's recursive and it can go on for a long time. We don't want to look at, we don't want to relook at things. We already know that there's nothing there, right? So we're just going to, every time we call this method, we're going to do visited. We're making visited, you know, publicly available to the whole class. So we're just going to do visited of i of j is equal to true. Um, so we're going to take in int i, int j, um, int index, um, you know, string word and um, char board. I didn't match those up very well, but that's fine. Um, what did we do? We did word and then board and then this is the index. The starting index is zero. Um, so if we if we see the first character of the word, we'll call our search method. Right here it calls it. And if that gives us true, we found the rest of the word. This will look for the whole word. Then we get a true and then we return. So if we found the first letter and we found the whole rest of the word, we return true. Otherwise we loop through everything and we do that every time we find the first letter and we return false and we get nothing. So now all we have to do is implement the searching, right? So it's just like I said, it's four recursive calls, right? So we're just gonna do, and this is a Boolean method, so it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna recurse on um, search word on I plus one to get the next row, um, J index plus one to get for the next index of the word, um, word board, right? And we're gonna do, we're gonna look for the word at every possible place. So um, I minus one, the previous row, um, that's fine. And then we're gonna go for the columns now. So I stays the same and we're gonna look at the columns. This is very similar to number of islands if you wanna check that out to get a thorough understanding. I think I did, a, people really liked that video that I made. So, so if any of these finds the full word, so if we find the full word at any point here, then yeah, we're good to go and we can return. Yeah, we did find the word, so return true, right? That's it. Um, return true, we found the word, and that's it. We're pretty much done right there. Um, so this is the end of it. We just have to do boundary checks. That's the whole thing. You just recurse on the next column. So this recurses on the column, the next column to the right, to the left up and above, because you can see i plus one, i minus one, j plus one, j minus one. And why do we even have an index? Well, here's the base case, right? If index is equal to word.length, that means that we successfully found the full word, right? Because we're incrementing index each time we recurse and um, find the next letter of the word. So if index is equal to word.length, return true. And all that we have to do besides that is boundary checks and then we're done. So boundary checks are always annoying. So if I is less than zero or if I is greater than or equal to um, board.length or um, uh, J is less than zero or J is greater than or equal to board of I.length, then that's the column. Or word, and here's the main base case, uh, I mean main check. If word.chart index is not equal to board of i of j, then that means that that's not even the right letter. So we just got to return false there. So I think I did a pretty good job at explaining that. I might have messed up at some point in here. Um, board of i dot length. What's the problem here? Board of zero dot length. That's how you get the columns. Um, what else is going on here? But visit. Oh, we didn't initialize the visited public boolean array, so we just got to do visited um, equals new int of uh, rows and columns. Just a boolean representation of the same exact board. Um, new. What is it? Int cannot be converted into boolean. Yep, it's boolean. So sorry about that. You know, always gotta have these errors, I guess. Please. Ah, uh, what?
What did we do wrong, guys? And this is definitely right. This is definitely right. Okay, this is all right. What else do we do? J plus one, J minus one, I, J, index plus one each time. Um, we pass in the same word and we pass in the same board. That's fine. If index is equal to word dot length, that's fine. Is there any more checks that we would do here? I is out of bounds. J is out of bounds. Word is not the the word character doesn't equal to the current position. Um, what else? Then what else? I mean, what else is there really? Um, why do we do this? Why did I do that? No, I think that's right. Actually, that's right. What is it? What did we do wrong? A, A. Dude, I did the whole explanation. Or we freaking didn't even use the visited. Yeah, sorry. That's the solution that I went off. Um, or visited of I of J is false. Um, true. Yeah, so if visit, you have to check that you didn't ping a uh, visited point in the visited array. So that's the solution. Um, sorry about that. Check out Number of Islands here. I'll link this, guys. This is the solution that I kind of learned it from. I mean, it, like, that's this is just the right solution. It's very, it's the exact same as Number of Islands, but um, sorry about all the confusion. You just have to, it's just long boundary checks, and uh, you have to make sure that you don't visit the same cell twice. You find the word, you return it. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Check out the number of islands. I'll link that one too. I'll try and start categorizing the problems that I do, uh, but I really don't feel like doing it. I would do this again normally because I messed up at the end, but I don't feel like it. So please take it for what it's worth. Um, thanks for watching. Check out everything. All right. Thanks. See you guys.